Hi folks, in this one we're going to show you how to install HESC on Linux Ubuntu. First we're going to add a repository and don't worry I'll put all these commands in the comments below. Next we'll check for updates. Now we'll install MariaDB. Apologies for the slight blur on the screen by the way, I decided that it would be a good idea to zoom in so they give you a better view of what we were actually entering at the command line. Next we need to secure the MySQL installation and at this point we're going to change the authentication method to sockets rather than password. Next we're going to create the permissions required for the HESC admin account that we created. We'll flush the privileges and then we'll just check everything looks ok. Next we'll create the database within MariaDB for HESC to live in. Now we'll create the user for our database and the permissions that it requires. Now we'll install Apache, which is the web server that runs in the background to support everything. Now we'll install PHP. This is the platform that the website is written in and so obviously we're going to need this to run HESC. We need to create a directory for the HESC files to live in. HESC is in naturally in a zip file so we're going to need to install zip so that we can unzip it on our server. I've put a link down below for the HESC download page so you'll need to go there to download HESC. Now we need to use something like FileZilla to create a secure FTP connection to the server and upload the HESC zip file. Next we'll unzip those files into the directory that we created earlier. And now we need to change the permissions on those directories and files according to HESC's instructions. Using a web browser we can now see that the help desk system does actually load but we now need to go to the install directory to finish off the final bits. Here we need to populate this form with the values that we created earlier. These details are just your own preference really. Um, create a user that's applicable to you and uh, let it generate a password for you. These are the login details for the user account that we're going to be using in a minute so we need to keep a record of that. The next thing we need to do before we forget is to delete the installation folder. So let's drop back into the SSH terminal and we'll remove that. Then going back to the website, we can now load it and we can get straight into the settings. At this point, your help desk system is actually technically running. In our next video, we'll show you how to configure the email side of things so that the tickets come in and out. If you're not already subscribed to our channel then obviously now would be a good time to do that because then you'll be able to see these new videos as and when they come out. As always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.